All right, guys, well, it occurs to me that I forgot to do an intro for yesterday's video. So I'm doing that now. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is USPS's website. And you can see here I've got one, two, three, four... I think I have five, six, seven different types of boxes. And this is the most interesting column, zero dollars, zero dollars, zero dollars, zero dollars. Check out. And these are all quantities, 25, 15, 20, 25. So that's a real good way to, make, to get boxes to ship in they're free you have to use them prior for priority mail you can't use them for fedex or for first class but um it's well worth it they're they're free boxes it's a variety of boxes so it's a lot of things that you can cut down so uh and i use a ton of these uh for clothes because you can stick anything that weighs more than a pound Almost any article of clothes will fit in there and you can get those shipped and know what your shipping is before no, before you even have a buyer lined up. So USPS.com is a big help for your reselling business. Zero dollars, that's my favorite part. Real quick guys, I did sell these, the Z28 uh, mud flaps that I got. They were their new old stock. Um, I think they say 1987. On them, you might be able to see that. Yeah, 1987. So that's something that sold today. I sold a Vera Wang bag, right? Vera Bradley. Uh, kind of like a purse, but it's more like a hanging organizer thing. Um, can't find that at the moment. Uh, I'm sure it'll turn up in the next little bit. So that that's the only things that I've sold today. I did have some pretty amazing hauls. I got a lead on a, an estate sale and went in and got some stuff. So we'll go over that in a little bit. Keep telling people, Rain-X Sharpie, three, two, one, it's a magic trick. Well, hello, YouTube. Um, did some thrifting today, did an estate sale, which didn't turn out to be great, but it wasn't a total bust. Not going to spend a whole lot of time on these, i uh, trying to get them listed but I wanted to show you what they were and I'll just flash some comps up uh, as I'm talking about this stuff. So this thing was first um, complete in box model two, unless you can buy these things super cheap, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I paid $40 for this, which may have been overpaying, but I think I don't even intend to sell it. I think I'm gonna keep it because I collect complete in box consoles. So that was a good pickup today. Um, this guy. I don't do a lot of plush, but this is Snap, Crackle, and eh, Pop. This is of the uh, of Rice Krispie fame. This guy is Crackle, and uh, he's from 1999. He's from 1999. And he was just kind of a throw-in with the stuff that I got at that estate sale. Another thing that was a throw-in with that estate sale stuff was Kermit. Um, and I didn't look him over particularly well. Look at the crap he's got all over his top of his head and his uh, collar. So this would have been about a $15 Kermit from Nanco, but um, ah, I love the Muppets. Um, but with those stains and stuff, it's probably not worth much of anything at all. Um, I got this. I don't... Uh, not that it matters, uh, drink at all, but the, uh, I picked this up because people who do like to have these, and I think it was $3, it'll be, I think it comps at 10 plus shipping, um, and it was, we ended up at $50 out the door for everything, so if I paid $40 for the Sega, then everything else at that estate sale was, uh, was 10 bucks this is maybe one of my favorite maybe my favorite pickup of the day this is a acid washed 
it's not branded, but it's a fanny pack. Uh, fanny packs are back and they're big. Speaking of big, yes, this does get to a 38 waist and it looks fabulous. And then I got a Walkman personal. It wasn't actually a Walkman. It was just a personal tape player. And it didn't play tapes at the right speed. And I tried to mess with it some and I didn't, uh, I didn't get it figured out yet, but I will. Um, it's just a, it's just a matter of getting the right belt. And I tried a couple of rubber bands and it didn't, I didn't get there. Um, so that was the estate sale. Um, I'm doing this on purpose because one of the things that I picked up today was this bag full of, I've got a offer coming in on something. Oh, cool. Some mud flaps. Um, so that person will get those for $20 because I paid two and they're going to pay $20 plus shipping. This is Catholic, like, uh, I dropped them. So I don't know if these are adornments for like your rosary necklace or if they're, uh, ne like uh, just regular necklace, charm bracelet, keychain. I don't know what those are, what they are exactly. But this one is special. Um, I'm keep trying to pretend things are going to focus. Nothing's going to focus when I bring it up close to the camera. Um, this is Ferre Andre. Maybe it's Friar Andre. I don't know. He's a saint. Um, and it's a relic, a legit relic. So that one is not just a trinket in a bag. That's a kind of a big deal. And then this one is beat to death but appears to have some age um, I was hoping to either find a relic or find some precious metal ones I did not find any precious metal but I did find that relic I only paid $2.99 for the whole bag and other than those two that I set off as kind of special and I want to look more into there were 81 and it was almost a pound worth so I imagine I'll do pretty well I, I don't have any idea what to expect out of those Oh. Old sneakers. These are an old sneaker brand I've never even heard of. Scats. But they're they're old. They're legit old. Um, I would say they're probably middle 70s. Um, just knowing what I know about sneakers. Um, they don't have a size in them. I'm going to do some digging. We're going to figure out what they are uh, before I get them listed. Uh, they fit kind of on my feet. I suspect they're like a 9 I'm like a 10, so I mean, I got my foot in there. Um, I picked these up. These are Hilton. I didn't steal them from a hotel, I promise. I didn't go to the Hilton and steal them. I found them at a thrift store. Um, and somebody will want those because they wanted to steal them from the hotel, but they were too nice. New old stock. Um, this right here says 1990. Nine May 1999 on it. Um, new old stock blender. And it's like, you can buy this exact same blender today. Why would anybody pay for one that's vintage? I don't know, but they do. So I bought it. Um, let's see. Oh, this shirt. This is a single stitch um, NASCAR shirt. Um, Harry Grant, which is not a name that I am familiar with, says The Bandits Last Ride, um, 1994 Harry Grant single stitch sleeve, um, and so that's a $30 shirt. The last one that sold on eBay sold for $30 plus shipping. So we'll see how I do on that. Um, this, I was watching some other dude who does YouTube videos. Actually, I was telling you guys last time to watch him ready, set, resell. Um, and he mentioned this brand that I would have absolutely passed on. Uh, Exofficio, something like that. It's a, uh, it's Exofficio. 
yeah, it says it a little more ex officio. Um, these are just like hikers gear. And so I found two of these today and they are listed as large, but they seem like they would fit like a 2X because I suspect they'll fit me and I'm rotund. Um, this is a small check Nike hang tag, but because it's this hang tag and it has the size tag behind it, not the size tag right here, that makes it probably like 2004, 2005 instead of being like 99, which is kind of what I thought it was when I was leaving the store. But it's in super good condition. And I, they were still running clothes uh, three for a dollar. So I paid 35 cents for that shirt. Um, oh, there's one more shirt. It wasn't anything special. Um, but it was 33 cents. Fozzy evidently is a band. Um, lights go out. And then because it's double-sided, I figure it's probably more desirable. Walls come down. If Fozzy is your favorite band and you're mad that I've never heard of them, or perhaps you're watching my video and you're a member of the band Fozzy, if you are, leave a comment below and I will, uh, I'll send you that shirt. Of course, you probably have them. Um, I think that's all I was able to grab today. Um, yeah. Let's go on into Goodwill and right there. See if we can find anything good. Dry fit Nike. 641. I can't nope, can't do nothing with that. Jimmy Buffett tour. 399. 2006. That's probably a good one. Mini bar classic fit T. That's a brand new, but it doesn't matter. It's nothing. Double stitch. Free rock. I don't know anything about that. It looks like something somebody would want, but I don't know nothing to want. What is that? Holy cow. Polo. That's an old polo tag. Pocket tee. Single stitch. Wow. Let's see. Ugh. Six fifty. dollars for a beat up t-shirt. Can't make money at that price. That's a great shirt. That's too bad. It's way over the list for me. You know, maybe somebody will buy it and like it, but I kind of doubt it. It'll probably be here till half price day, and then I'll get it. Some dog socks. Let's see what this is. $4.99 hand lotion, body lotion. Love tea. How are they gonna pass on that? Ooh, what do I see here? It's a Rams hat. $3.99. Put the autographs on it. Uh, do you guys know who that is? Anybody? Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is sick. That's a top of the world. Looks like Iowa Hawkeyes. Gra graffiti. So how did we do? Um, I, you guys definitely saw the prize of the day. Um, at least a good one. Holy cow, that sun must have been killing you. Sorry about that. Um, you did not lose the receipt. The, uh, those two hats, I kind of, I, hopefully, I don't know anything about college football to know, I, don't know, I guess it might be basketball too, to know if those players are anything. 
offhand, but I will definitely look them up. That one, you guys might know offhand who this number 31 for the St. Louis Rams or number 97 for the St. Louis Rams. Maybe I'll hit Mike up. Mike will know right off, either right off the top of his head or know how to find out real quick. This one, that hat is gorgeous. I'll put the comps up right here. I'm, uh, I'm quite confident that I'll get something remarkable out of this hat. Unfortunately, unless these guys went pro and became something, the it's kind of unfortunate that it's autographed because the hat by itself is in crazy good shape and super collectible that top of the world um that's a graffiti spell out that's a really cool really cool hat if you guys see vintage snap backs that's rather than this one i only bought because it's autographed by professionals perhaps one of those professionals is something somebody's looking for it was four bucks this is a fitted back this is a snapback. You guys who are collecting hats collect snapbacks. This is a thing of beauty. And I'm going to turn the camera around because it'll be hard to show you. Slingster tag made in the U.S. John Deere. This has never been on a human. This is absolutely pristine condition. And it's got to be early 80s. It's a, cafe, it's a nylon cafe racer. And I bet it's a $65 jacket. I paid 12 or 11, which I don't really like paying that much for, for vintage clothes because normally I can do better, but on that, I'm not gonna get hurt with that. I also did not do an outro, um, wrapping things up. A lot of cool finds, a lot of information. Thanks for sticking in there with me, watching this video to the end. Leave me a comment, leave me a like. It helps push the channel out. It helps me out a lot. So I greatly appreciate you guys who are making comments uh, on a regular basis. And uh, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell, subscribe, comment, share, whatever you feel like doing. Um, I appreciate it all. Thanks.